Now obviously 12 to 24 is not typically a street lens, so I wanted to come out and challenge myself to see how it performs and kind of how close a personal you have to get at 12mm. Uh, because obviously 12mm is mega wide on a full frame camera, but I should be able to get some really good shots with this, uh, you know, quite harsh lighting. Um, it's not supposed to stay around for a long time, the lighting. Uh, it's supposed to get cloudy, so I don't know how long that's going to last. Mm. That was kind of like more of a test shot to see how it kind of looked. Okay, so someone crossing the road behind me. The, uh, the harsh lighting looked pretty sick. The wired is just, it's, it's just next level. And until you use a 12 mil, you don't really get a sense of like how ridiculous it is. The sun seems to be just on this strip. Now I do have some shots in mind that I want to capture, um, especially at 12 mil, but I think I'm going to have to like shoot from like down here, you know, like not, not looking, like no look shots. So it's like the art of subtlety. I'm also going to put my camera on silent shooting mode um, so I'm not so obvious I mean how obvious is this okay something I've learned recently actually as well talking about like hip fire is um, a lot of people obviously shoot an aperture priority then they set their focusing distance between like one and two meters and then it's pretty much just good to go and all they have to do is just walk past somebody and just simply take the shot and just kind of aim the camera in the direction of which they want um, which is quite a cool street, street way of doing it. Um, let's do a little example of this dude. Like that. And that's kind of like the shot, this dude. So it's, it's kind of like just hip firing. Getting the shot you want just as you're kind of like walking past. That was quite a nice shot, just the guys just, just chilling there. So I'm gonna do a, a couple of those, just like walking around and hip firing, and then I'm also gonna frame some shots that I wanna get. Um, I think the the kind of up close and personal firing kind of idea is good for a certain type of street photography. Um, like for instance, this dude up here on the left, I would typically go on the other side and shoot back towards him. But we'll do the old uh, um, like point and shoot because because I'm not stopping, I can just walk slower and get the same shot, but just have a different angle, as you can see on the, the screen. It kind of works, but it's a completely different style to obviously what I've shot before and what you've come to expect from me. So I'm not going to just do that, but it's, uh, it's cool to try new things when you learn about them. I mean, it's harder to frame your shots because you're not looking at what you're doing. Um, and it is obviously way more personal um, what I'm doing is I'm just leaving in autofocus I trust the Sony um, so I'm just relying on the Sony to pick up the focus where I want it to and uh, it seems to be working pretty good It's quite a nice way of doing it sometimes, you know, because you don't have to think too much. And you, you can then review the photos afterwards. Um, if you don't like it, there we go, so be it. You uh, discard it and just keep the ones that you do like. So what I've actually done now with the settings is I've gone uh, aperture priority, auto ISO. I've set it to uh, exposure minus one. Let's see if we can get a shot with the, uh, the tram lines here. I mean, so this is what I mean. So these are going to be framed shots as opposed to me, um, as opposed to me just shooting from the hip. But this is what I mean. It's a nice balance. This at 24 mil is actually really nice, but it's about finding that balance between the two. I think it'd be a nice mix if I can obviously search for those pockets of light to shoot in, uh, but then also, shoot from the hip sometimes like this is a nice pocket of light here um, which is 
not too bad. I mean, if I come over here, the 12 mil. It's a nice little perspective that we can get of somebody walking into the light. But I would typically not shoot at those settings. Um, so the way you can do that is you can you can change the exposure compensation to get to your desired look. Um, so I'm underexposing by two and a half stops here to get the look that I'm look I'm looking going for. And then you can just quite simply change it back to you know minus 0.7 for the for the other shots that you're trying to capture. Yeah, so there's quite a lot going on here. So I think I might be able to to get a couple. It's quite a nice shot. Just with the dude's like, bag hanging next to him. Okay, so I think a cool shot here as people cross the road actually when the light goes green because you've got the Finner Street station. I'm just going to get down and I'm focusing on the building itself and then everybody else should be blurred out because there's enough separation between the people in the building so quite a sick shot it's pretty uh, it's quite a sick shot nice um, and this too all the people crossing it's kind of surreal you know like mad just that that honestly that photo right there on the screen encapsulates the same rat race like it all of those people are heading to work and it just epitomizes that really um i haven't shot from this side before it's quite a nice uh oh i've got people running across the road that's pretty sick i'm gonna sit here because pretty much every green light that happens so I'm just going to chill here for a moment and wait for more people to cross the road going that way and what I'll do is when the first, when the first wave of people go across the street I'll get some shots here and then I'll follow a bunch of people so sick oh, what a sick shot people stepping off oh my actual shit this is so sick <laughs> oh my god actual balling that's pretty sick all right i kind of got distracted from from what i was intending to go and do but it's because the shots turned out pretty sick. Oh, I'll wait for the next like kind of load of people to cross the road and I'll follow them. Let's do the, uh, the briefcase. Well, the briefcase, whatever you want to call it. Laptop bag. Pretty cool. Fine of motorbikes, but that is a beautiful old Enfield. Walking through Flinders Street Station, and there's actually a really cool shot here through this. This is nuts. Like legit, this is actually a really sick shot. We shoot through this time thing. No joke, this is actually really sick. Sweet, I'll take that. That's actually like a really cool thing. I would assume most people just walk past. I'm just using this as kind of like a, 
a filter almost. Kind of a nice shot of everybody crossing the road into the city. We get a shot here of uh, the archway. Actually, looks mad. Even at 24 mil, still got a bit of time because there's no one coming. So. That is actually yeah, money. I kind of overexposed it because I wanted to get those like really harsh highlights in the background, um, which I can pull out in post. Good 12 on. Shot here, which is quite nice. You got the the dude in the uh, old telephone box and you've got this dude on the phone and then the other delivery drivers which looks uh no, it's just a nice frame shot okay so in december of 2016 i was here in this shopping center um and i filmed this um building on the right hand side which would actually go on to be in my first ever youtube video so i just thought it'd be really nice to come back and just pay homage to the first first video I ever made actually being in here and taking this shot it's it's quite I don't know it's it's quite emotional because it it's taken a lot of hard work to get where I am um, to do what I'm doing and uh, I just want you all to know it's it's definitely possible and there's days where it doesn't feel like it's going to be there's times where it feels like it's completely impossible but if you just keep going, if you just day by day, month by month, chip away at what you want, work towards your goals, work towards the thing that you want to achieve in your life, and you'll get it. Okay, and the last location we're going to is in the library. Um, I've been told it's a good wide shot, so we'll go and see what we can find. If you walk into Melbourne Library, come into like this main area, and then come over to the right hand side, and then you're going to go into the left. We go to four six, which is the view of the dome. Uh, it's all the way to the top, I and mean, you should have a nice view of like where everybody sits. And it should look pretty good. So I've been told. So for this shot, I'm actually going to do like a, a stacked image. So I'm going to start like that. Take one shot. Take another one. And take a third one and then link them all together. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a shot using these as a frame. That's so sick. That actually works out so nicely.